Hello guys, today we are testing out a new product, well I actually have two, and this is probably the strangest sounding product that I have heard of lately. This is the Becca Zero No Pigment Virtual Foundation. So of course when I heard of this, the first thing I thought was, yeah that's not going to work, but who knows we're gonna test it out i did receive this free for review from octaly for instagram so i will be posting my finished look over there but i'm just so curious to see like is this a gimmick does it really really work and i also have one other product which is the becca no pigment glass highlighter for face and lips so as you can see i put on some brows and i also did a little bit of eyes oh i forgot to put on mascara We'll do that later. So I wanted to just kind of like pull everything together. Something really, really simple. Obviously, if this is truly a no pigment foundation, it's going to look very natural, I'm assuming. Um, obviously, we're not going to get full coverage out of this. Upon first impression, I was like, okay, is this just a primer? So I will show you a close-up of this that I already did. This literally looks clear it looks kind of cloudy and it has a sort of like silicone primer type feel now i haven't checked out the ingredients i thought we would do that together interestingly enough you have water um you have a cross polymer which i'm guessing is giving it that texture you have glycerin butylene glycol another glycol um a couple ingredients that honestly i'm not an expert on you have castor oil hyaluronic acid another glycerin um, yeah, so there's actually not a silicone or related ingredient listed, so I'm assuming that that cross polymer is giving it the texture. And I'm going to read you really quick what it says it does, because obviously the whole video is kind of relying on does it do what it says. So this says, no pigment virtual foundation uses a clear light blur technology that diffuses light around the face to smooth and blur imperfections without pigment. Formulated with hyaluronic acid to hydrate, cools on contact, and helps helps perfect skin with a natural matte finish. You use the spatula to apply products to fingertips, gently smooth and tap onto face. So yeah, I mean, without further ado, we know what it says it's going to do and we're going to dip some out. I feel like this is a pretty generous amount and I'm gonna put this on my fingers and this is what it looks like. I do wanna give you a close up of what it looks like on my fingers. This is very interesting. Course. I'm gonna get red touching my face that happens so please don't be alarmed that my face is going to look super red for a minute but hopefully that color will not peek through too much here in a few minutes when it calms down okay I had to grab a mirror to look closely at my skin um maybe the amount I'm using is maybe a little bit conservative so i'll add some more uh, especially obviously i have not done the forehead but i'm not seeing a big change in my skin i have to say honestly this does feel more like a primer than anything else i know it's meant to kind of just blur so you guys tell me what you're seeing so far because i don't know maybe it's just me looking at myself a little bit too closely but I can still see like all my imperfections. The texture of my skin to me looks a little smoother, but I can still see my pores as visibly as I would normally. I see my little annoying fine line here. It's not, maybe not quite as bad. Of course, the only thing you're not going to be able to do is cover any pigmentation in the skin because it is clear. Now it says it's supposed to light blur. I mean, I feel like my skin looks pretty good. It looks good with this on, but I'm not really seeing anything that makes me think that this is anything more than a blurring primer. I doubt that I'm gonna do much else with this face on, so I'm just gonna add more. <laughs> Maybe that's being a little bit, but just on the off chance that I have not used enough, I'm going to smooth more onto my skin. Once again, I'm going to get red. It is interesting that this is not like balling up because I'm putting, again, probably too much on my skin just to see if any more will help. But with a lot of primers, you know, if you put too much, it's going to just ball up. A lot of people complain about that, but if you just use less it typically is fine but i put a lot on and it's not blowing up it still feels really smooth and it does have like a little cooling effect as i'm like moving my fingers around like it feels very cool so let me just look through this diffuses light to smooth and blur imperfections um i mean i do feel like 
my texture looks really smooth but for me my major concerns with foundation is covering my discolorations and i love coverage for that reason and this obviously is not going to really do that um if it diffused anything maybe a little bit but this is kind of what i expected it says it's hydrating and cooling i would say that that is true it feels really nice on the skin yeah i would say so i mean it's got a little shine to it but it pretty much does what it says it's going to do, but just for me, it's not going to be something that I'm going to reach for all the time. However, if you want something uber, uber natural and you just want the slightest bit of blurring, I mean, maybe this is the product for you. So let's try this highlighter, No Pigment Glass Highlighter for Face and Lip. It says it's a multi-use gloss for face and lips that gives the skin a wet look glass-like effect. Use the doe foot applicator to highlight the points of your face can be applied to the lips. Well, let's throw it on the lips and see what it looks like because I'm just curious. Very healthy lip. I mean, worst case scenario, if I don't like this as a highlighter, it does look pretty on the lips, looks juicy. So let's dip in again. All right, definitely you guys weigh in below and let me know, do you feel like this product has really done anything for me? I do see that wet look, which is very pretty. I mean, I do like that effect on the skin. I don't think you really need a gloss or anything of that nature to achieve that. However, I do think that that looks pretty, but let me know, like, I don't know that I feel any more put together than I did prior to putting all of that on. Like having eyes done and nothing else, I always feel like is a little out of place. All right, so there you have it. I do think that my skin looks really pretty with this on, but it does look like skin to me. So I feel though, if you're the type of person who has like a really beautiful complexion, but maybe the texture in your skin is not where you want it to be, this might be a great alternative to traditional foundation. But for me with more like colored discoloration being what I like to cover with foundation it's not like the perfect fit I am kind of liking the way that things are looking though like I look very dewy very fresh I am definitely missing my contour which you could probably do over top of it if you wanted to but I just wanted to test these products out just as is to see what they would look like on their own. I do think, once again, my skin looks pretty, but I think that this enhances your skin versus a foundation. This product I think would be great for someone who doesn't want to put on a lot of makeup, just wants to just enhance their skin versus putting on layers and layers of foundation and concealer and powder. So this definitely would be a good option for some people because I think my skin looks really pretty. Let me know your thoughts below. I'm definitely curious to see what you guys think. Is this something that you would actually invest in or do you feel like this is just like I could throw on a primer and have the same effect? I'm really curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are but that is it for this video. I will post a photo on Instagram to show my skin on there as well um, and just post the product but I don't think that I would be looking for any like longevity for this. Um, this would be like a quick for me at least be a quick like I don't really want to put on anything type of look throw that on with some mascara something along those lines but it would definitely be a true no makeup day for me and any other day I'm gonna put on a real foundation because I love my foundation so thank you guys so much for checking out this video I hope you guys enjoyed let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in my next one bye guys